I was always one of those guys that would go into back in the day when they sold guitars and Sears and stuff like that and you just go and look at the wall, like, look at those things and I just thought they were incredibly beautiful electric guitars. It was just, they're great. They're great looking. They'll always be great looking. I'll never get old. I have a lot of uh, vintage Stratocasters from quite a few different eras. I have a mid-50s and uh, a lot of 60s. What I like about what they've done is they're, I think, applied uh, a lot of uh, modern technology and a modern up-to-date thought into producing these guitars. It's set up beautifully right out of the box. The other ones are kind of sketchy. They're a little more inconsistent, some of the 60s guitars, and they, they require a lot of TLC to get them working right. And this comes out of the box, out of the case, and it's just ready to play. Uh, just a beautifully uh, playing guitar, it's really well done. <laughs> You know, I don't take them on the road. I just get nervous about them. I don't want to lose them. Historically, uh, I mean, we had a, we went on tour in Europe. This is, this is quite a while ago. The bulk of the equipment went by freighter over the ocean. And on the way back from Europe, that boat sunk. So I, I just wouldn't want to get that phone call, you know, you know, the, you're 56 and you're 62 and they're at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, you know, so. It's just too risky. And the beautiful thing is you don't really have to because Fender is producing stuff like this, which is really true to the original, and I think better because they've applied modern techniques to, to the build process. So it's a much more consistently built guitar. And this uh, American Vintage Series just did a fabulous job of putting them together. And it's a lot easier to take these out on the road I think they play better. You're not going to you're not going to be fighting with different things like necks moving around and stuff. I mean that always happens, but I think you know with a, an instrument that's 40 years, 40 or 50 years old is going to always require a little more TLC and something like this right out of the box. Of course, Jeff Beck. I remember somebody asked him uh, if you could design your own guitar, what would you do? And he said, well, it's been done already. 1954, they made the Strat. He says, I could not improve, improve on that. And it, he's right on the money, man. It's just, it, it's a really wide palette of colors you get from this guitar. So you can paint a lot of pictures sonically with these instruments. Mm -hmm. 